TLO was pop. We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see it. It's the Spotify playlist. Oh, I'm tweaking. That ain't the Spotify playlist. This is the warning screen. Because, you know, when we're talking about this type of activity, you know, you need the warning screen just in case. Uh, Twitch.com is where you can catch any lives, previous live streams, the usernames on the bottom of the screen. And we also got a Patreon. We post five days a week. Uh, this is Skyboy. It's channel. He hit 20,000 subs. Congratulations. The Deadly War in West Midlands. Battle of Coventry. Did we? Just two days ago? Battle of Coventry? Alright, talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Now Coventry is a city in central England. It's known for the medieval Coventry Cathedral, which was left in ruins after the World War II bombing. And just like how in the medieval times, foes would come at each other with swords, the same theme remains. Today I'll be discussing the underworld of the city and the numerous gangs which operate there, as well as why they are at each other's throats. Now postcode wars have led to outbreaks of serious violence over the past four years, including attempted murder, wounding and firearm discharges. Gang members have bragged about their exploits and issued threats to rivals on social media and drill music videos posted on YouTube. At the center of the conflict are- And that right there is precisely why all good drill artists are uh, locked up or not here anymore with us because they let the ops who are, have no motion trick them out of their spot into <laughs> into doing bringing the same energy that they've brought. They got nothing to lose. That's why they bringing this, oh yeah, I'm going to call you out on Snapchat. Oh yeah, I'm going to diss you and drop your name and everything we did to you on, on a song. Bro, they got nothing to lose. They going back home to a, 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 a half bedroom. You know what I'm saying? In a half-eaten Mars bar. Like, what? And then, you know what I'm saying? You going to a, 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 a condo downtown London. And you trying to beef with somebody who's not in the same bracket as you? Who don't... Who can't even buy a, a, a ten piece from Nando's? Like, chill. That's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. That's moving loose to me. I'm not finna beef with nobody that, that, that don't got nothing to lose. For what? Two gang. RB7 and C2, which have been linked to dozens of violent firearms and knife related incidents. RB7 was formed by street robbers and drug dealers who gravitate across Whole Brooks, Dalma Green, and parts of Kerrisley Heath. They identify with purple. They beef RS, C2, and C3. They are allied with 6 and F block. While C2, short for CV2, are a large street gang based around Wood End, Manor Farm and Henley Green within the CV2 postcode. They identify with the colour green and black and sometimes red. They beef RB7, 6, F block and C4. They are allied is, with C3. Now both Is C anybody in either one of these groups got like motion? C2 and C3 olders used to be in sets such as P1 and Gridlock. Although the younger generation of the like they, they like this like they okay y'all go ahead and beef each other y'all got nothing to lose I ain't wrong both of them got nothing to lose y'all both bored as hell go ahead and beef each other then respectably beef because at the end of the day we both know we all know there's no winners gangs were into with each other it was nothing fatal however this would soon change. Now at night on the 24th of November 2018, JJ, real name Jaden James, was outside with friends. Bro look like a good kid, man. He look like he gets straight A's. Oh my god. Indeed more road to get some food when they were attacked by another group of males. RB7 gang members pulled up in a car, hopped out and chased them all. Jaden was running, then ran through a church driveway, but it was a dead end. He tried to hop over the fence but it was too late. 
they stabbed him in the back with a zombie knife. Two of his other friends were also stabbed. Jaden was taken to hospital where he sadly died 11 days later. His death would absolutely shake the city. Many mourned, tributes paid both musically and literally. RB7 became the most hated gang in Coventry after this event. In fact, because he said, who was like, that's a Jaden, no saying. Jaden was, well, I don't even, you can't judge a book by his cover, but bro looks non as non involved as humanly possible. In fact, one of his killers, known as Abs, was shot in the leg days after the murder. The other killer, known as FK, well, his mother was almost shot. The city was itching for revenge. Oh, okay, no rules of engagement. Y'all going for OGs? This is insane. Now, some people claim young Jaden James was a gang member, although many believe this to be false and merely state he lived in C2 territory and knew people from both sides. It was an all round unfortunate event. Police have charged three people with murder and they have now gone on trial at war with. Well, if y'all don't get off the screen, what is this? With Crown Court. They are FK, real name Frank Kenfuck age 18, Abs, real name Abdirizak Hussein Abdi, 20 years old, and Bugani Ngozi, who was 18 years old. All three have also denied wounding with a tent to cause grievous bodily harm in connection with the injuries of two of Jaden's friends. Standing trial with the murder, which was described in court as being a result of a rivalry between two warring gangs in the city. Coventry teenager Jaden James was stabbed so hard that a knife went through his body, a jury heard. And one of the defense like from start like it like hypothetically speaking, it went in and came out. And this is accused of carrying out an internet search for the words getting away with murder in, <laughs> in the aftermath of the fatal stabbing in Wood End. West Midlands police said Jaden was not thought to be a specific target. I don't believe that Jaden was targeted that night. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and his killers were simply out for revenge, said Deputy Inspector Stuart Morbelly. Abdi, said to be a senior member of the RB7 gang, was ordered to serve a minimum term of 23 years, with Kenfuck serving a minimum of 17. A third defendant, Bogani Ngozi, 18 of Hickenley, Leicestershire, who had faced the same charge, was acquitted of all. Now, in March 2020, two C2 members, in Riaz Ahmed and Karen Monga, got in a stolen car to target RB7 member in an act of revenge. Both Riaz and Karen were wearing electronic tags. You heard that correctly. Every time I watch one of these, no offense to these members, but like, I know some older sent them out there and they just did it. They just crashed out. This is just crash dummies. We call them crash dummies. Stupid. <laughs> Both were on the verge of committing a crime despite knowing their exact whereabouts was known to the police. The pair targeted a man known as Abdul Wahid Hassan on Harnell Lane in the Hillfields area of the city. As he made his way back from Juma prayer, CCTV footage captured the exact moment Abdul Wahid Hassan was shot Damn. twice in the back. After burning their stolen car, both the killers were arrested not too long after and charged. Oh, police! Oh, police! Yo, that armed police a little bit too early, didn't you? Hey, walk towards me, do it now! Walk slowly towards yeah, me. Nothing, Keep walking. Okay. Keep walking. Yeah. Keep walking. Yeah, yeah. Turn around. Keep your hands up. Now sentencing the pair for murder, Judge Simon Drew QC said the shooting had occurred during gang warfare in the city, which broke out after a 16-year-old Jaden James was killed back in This is in Coventry? 2018. Mr. James, known as JJ, was stabbed in Wood End and two men were jailed for his murder in November 2020. Mr. Drew told Ahmed and his accomplice that it was not clear who had the gun or who drove the car and acted as a spotter. But what is clear is that you each knew the purpose of the trip, which was to find and shoot a member of the RB7 gang. Detectives said they believed Ahmed, who has been heavily involved in vehicle crime since he was 13, was the driver and used a stolen Volkswagen Golf while the 20 year old gunman 
opened fire from the back seat. Monga and Ahmed were linked to the C2 gang in Coventry, while Mr Hassan, who was arrested just days before his death over possession of an imitation gun, was connected to the rival group RB7. West Midland police said both defendants were sentenced to life, with Ahmed ordered to serve a minimum 18 years and his accomplice 27. Oh. Now despite the media's attention being on the C2 v RB7 feud, other gangs have had their fair share of gruesome violence, example being when Johnny Robbins, age 33, was kidnapped and tortured before he was killed. Tragically, his body has still not been found. A response to Johnny's death is linked to the murder of Daniel Shaw, who was found with gunshot injuries to his chest in Copland Place in the Tow Hill area on the 25th of March 2018. Deputy Senior Investigating Officer Jenny Birch said we are absolutely committed to establishing the truth behind what happened to Johnny and Daniel. Six years have passed and allegiances change. Do the right thing and pick up the phone to tell us what you know. He also added we still need to hear from anyone with information about the whereabouts of Ryan Hobday, age 28, in 2018 from Coventry who's wanted in connection with the murders. We are still seeking him. However, we believe he may also have been murdered himself. I don't think I've covered a city in the UK where enemies are not only killed That's but they insane. disappear. Coventry's violence yeah. is like no other. Disappearing off the map is, 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 is a little bit le different level of crime, I feel. There's something more intricate going on, I feel. Now, do you guys remember Past Salute? He was a British rapper, most notable for being very similar in style to Jay Huss, which isn't surprising as they are Look like him. both from Gambia. In January 2020, he released his debut single, Frontline, which was the most played track of 2020 on BBC Radio 1 Extra. Now, on October 2019, Coventry rapper Past Salute was one of two people shot in Coventry City Centre. The rising star was shot in the head. Two days after being shot, the 22-year-old posted a picture on his Facebook page showing himself alongside a friend visiting him in hospital. The upload carried the caption, can't stop greatness like that, like that. Coventry is a place where you gotta survive. It's the belly of the beast, in the middle of England. Belly of the beast. A place like this will dishearten you. Two really stupid runnings with the devil for him still can't defeat me. People get shot in the head and die. One bullet, I've got 19 in my head. It's a journey of an African rebel. The West Midlands is a very dangerous That's crazy. place. I covered the war in Wolverhampton. However, many surrounding towns are just as crazy. See, when Bailey Atkinson, a gang member from Coventry, moved to Warsaw to get away from the gangster lifestyle of the city, he soon became embroiled in Warsaw's own warring gangs. On the evening of the 27th of January 2023, Bailey Atkinson was out with a female friends. Now two cars in the convoy had been stolen in previous days. Nine people in both vehicles had met up in a supermarket shortly before they drove into the town centre looking for Bailey. It's thought they were looking for him in retaliation for attack Bailey. Why is Bailey? Wait. What? Did two months prior. They cornered Bailey by low. What? If you? I'm sorry. I know like I get it. I get it. Oh man. I ain't. I, I, I gotta be outside. I can't let my house get the best of me. I'm outside. No, <laughs> no, you out here frolicking with a female, walking slow, nice long walks on the beach, that's cap. No, no. Ohu Lane and drove at him. He managed to escape, but a car circled and caught up with him further along the high street. Six of the occupants got out and attacked Bailey with machetes and zombie knives. His attackers got back in the cars, leaving him on the floor. One stopped to try to take a photo of Bailey on his mobile phone as he lay bleeding on the floor. Despite open heart surgery at the scene, Bailey died from multiple stab wounds to his back, arms and legs. Bailey Atkinson's dying words were uttered to a police officer as he lay in Warsaw Town Centre. Now after a 10 week trial with multiple stab wounds to his back, arms Wait, what was his words? and legs, Bailey Atkinson's dying words were uttered to a police officer as he lay in Warsaw Town Centre. What was the words? Now, after a 10-week trial at Nottingham Crown Court, seven teenagers who were aged between 15 and 18 at the time of the attack were found guilty of Bailey's murder. They were Benjamin Wilkes of Guild Avenue, Ronan McCulloch of Livingston Road, Patrick Brooks of Hunter Crescent, all aged 18, were found guilty, as was Sonny Loveridge, aged 19. Now this brings me to the end of this video. 
as always, I send my condolences to the family of everyone I met. Yeah, R.I.P. Please make sure to like. I just like to give a real, <laughs> real layout of what be going on in my mind when I hear some. Like and subscribe. Stuff. Support me on Patreon so I can improve the quality of my videos. Till the next time. Once again, no winners ever. Tell her, leave a like, comment, I'm gone.